Hello and welcome back to Visit File Coast. I thought we'd take a portal along the promenade this fine and bright day and have a look and see what's happening on the site of St Chad's Hotel or should I say on the site of what used to be St Chad's Hotel because there's not really very much left of it now. So if you're new in these parts, if you're new in these parts, make sure that you've subscribed. We have lots of information and lots of updates and lots of previews and firsts and exclusives and things. And if you hit that little bell for notifications, you will know when you will know when we've uploaded something that you want to watch. It's quite breezy as well as you can tell by all these bits that are annoying me to death. But quite warm. I've only slipped my coat on because I've I've come onto the seafront. I've been I've been walking about town in my cardigan. It's unheard of. It's unheard of. So let's go and see what we can see, 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 shall we? The trams are still travelling. They're still tramming up and down, as you might say. The tower's still looking towerish. The Lindines still blow. And the St Chad's has disappeared. <laughs> so there you go. It was, it was, and now it's not. It looks so different with it missing. So, so totally different and such a lot brighter as well. That's really quite a startling difference, that. And you don't realise just how big a how big a footprint it is until it's not there. That's going to be a big new hotel when it's finished. I think I might have to get a break for tea, boy. We're going to have a, we'll go and have a closer nosey now, shall we? So this is St Chad's Road. It's actually a lovely, lovely street with some really nice properties. Lots of stay Blackpool ones down here. And at the moment it's all covered in a land dust. <laughs> um, I do believe they're going to clean up though when they've, uh, when they've finished. So this is the bit that comes next. These guys are cleaning up any bricks that are reasonable and can be reused. And they'll go to reclamation yards that you go to and pay fortune for all this second and original stuff for. And then everything else will be graded and sorted and worked out so that it ends up being reused somewhere and not ending up in landfill. So all the wood is being sorted out. There's a, there's a little bit of building at the back there that's coming down in due course. No great rush, but all the wood is being sorted out separately, as you can see. Just look at all that wood. Just imagine what you could build with that. Just imagine. So the wood's been sorted out and that's going to go off and it'll be chipped and used for whatever chip wood is used for. The plastic's been sorted out separately. I guess that's going to end up being either, I don't know, does anybody know what we do with the uh, scrap plastic? Does it get recycled? Does it get burnt? Does it get, well, I don't know what we do with it. I don't know what we do with it. Answers on a postcard in the comments underneath, please, if you do know the answer to that one. I know quite a few of you are knowledgeable. I've just been talking to Jack, the site manager and the owner of the company. So he's filled all the little gaps in for me and told me, told me all the bits that uh, I, I wasn't quite sure of. But I didn't ask him that bit. I didn't ask him where the plastic went. So the stone and brick and concrete and hardcore it's being separated out you can see a lot of this is just it's just rubbish or it's no good for man the beast there's another there's another impressive pile of bricks here being sorted out ready for the reclamation yard i don't know how much you pay for reclaimed bricks but uh, i know i know kevin spent considerable time chipping bricks as he calls it and it's a slow, laborious, time-consuming, back-breaking job, so probably worth every penny they get for them. So all this hardcore is going to go off-site 
and put through a crusher and turned into and turned into rubble and then that's going to come back would you believe it's going to come back and it's going to be used as fill actually thinking about it i'll go back down there because i think we might be able to see what i'm looking for so what they're going to do is clear the site to level and then when they've done that they'll find the footings and the foundations and the cellars of the old building and then they'll sort them out by excavating anything that needs excavating and then filling filling them in up to a certain level so that they're leaving a flat pad so that the construction team can come on site and pile and put the foundation piles in for the new building. So somewhere underneath there, there will be cellars and foundations and footings from the old St Chad's Hotel. And they'll put sand in the very bottom up to a certain level. And then, <laughs> it's all right. And then all this, all this waste, brick and concrete that's being crushed will go back in to fill it up. So it'll be left flat in inverted commas. It'll have a very slight dome on it so that water runs off. But it will be it will be flat. It will be raised to the ground as they call it. And then the next team that come in will be the... You're all right. The next team that come in will be the construction guys who will come in to actually start building the new hotel. And unfortunately, unfortunately, when the demolition team have done, when Jack Rowley's demolition team have finished, they're putting a hoarding up. We'll walk back this way again. They're putting a hoarding up. So... <laughs> the view's going to disappear. Which is a shame. The view's going to disappear. This is a Bowser that was spurting water through that mist cannon. There you go. Mist cannon and Bowser, that's the generator, isn't it? So these fence boards will be going up and they will create a barrier around the building site which will obstruct the view and stop nosy people like me from watching what they're doing. Which is a bit of a bit of a misery. Bit of a misery. And then the view disappears a little bit as we walk across the front because they've put all these cabins along the edge of the pavement. Which is a bit of a spoil spot. But it's all interesting stuff. Whoop, there goes another another stack of wood. Escape. Bang. I bet that is very satisfying, especially if you had a bad day. It's just like picking matchsticks up. But you think how heavy each one of those pieces of wood will be if we were to pick them up. So what, a fortnight, three weeks ago? 
So it's a great big hotel stood here and now it's just a it's just a pile of rubble. Fascinating. Fascinating. A little bit of an intermission then. I've just met Dave Honor from Blackburn. I think that's what he said. <laughs> He's walking behind me saying, hello, hello, hello. Well, this, this chap's busy knocking his building down and picking his, picking his planks out. Amazing. It's fascinating to watch, isn't it? The big, the big grabber's still here. I'm not quite sure whether this Barry Proctor lorry is related to this, this site. I would imagine it is. I think it's interesting when you see, like here, there's, there's tiles from inside, these pink ones. They look like they've been in the kitchen or a washroom or something like that. And you sort of see the ghosts of the inside of the building and the past and the years that people have cooked meals and come on holiday and and all the things that they're doing are all just wrecked in the rubble. It's really interesting. Right, I suppose I'd better, I'd better go and do some work instead of just standing here for the duration watching, watching buildings coming down. So, from me and Rob X, I hope that you've enjoyed that. I hope you've enjoyed watching the sifting and the sorting and the rubble and finding out what they're going to do next and how they're going to leave it for the construction team no doubt we will be back we will be back at some point we will be definitely coming back and we will document the transformation of this site like we've like we've followed the change in so many others let's go for a shuffle around back of here and see uh, if we can see down. See if we can see down the alley from this end. I'm not. I'm not shuffling through that gap because I'm going to end up. I'm going to end up mucky. Oh, it's warmed it now. Right, we'll have a. I'll get you again. I'm definitely going to get you. I'm going now, I'm going now. I'll give you a bit more room. <laughs> that poor chap's been dodging out of my way. Oh, he's the one that's driving the proctor lorry, isn't he? Yeah, he is, look. Oh, he's taking the brakes. It all becomes clear with the passage of time. He's got the brakes on the back of his lorry, look. Tried about four times to get him on this film. Right, we'll have another look from this end. They said once they'd done the fence that they were going to reopen the road. Still taste brick dust. 
It's got a smell all of its own. Right guys, your moment of fame and glory. And we will be back. We will see you another day. See you later. Bye for now.